pledge to host um, the commander in chief <laughs> of EFF honorable Julius Malema will be coming to the ground on the 9th at 10 a.m. and he will be the keynote speaker alongside him will be of course the professor Patrick uh, Lumumba who is his guest actually he's the one who has invited uh, Malema to come and we are very excited to host uh, the two of them amongst other dignitaries who've come across Africa. So we're welcoming everybody to Makueni County, Lukenya University. What is this event all about? So the event marks the beginning of the Pan-African Institute, all right? Mm -hmm. And it is where we shall now declare that the Pan-African Institute is now officially opened and can begin transacting, um, creating courses and programs for students to engage in Pan-Africanism, creating partnerships across Africa so that we can enhance the Pan-African conversation among the young people. It is also going to mark the beginning of Africa celebrating its own. So starting from writers, because on that day we shall launch a few African writer books to celebrate our African writers and uh, begin the serious conversation on Pan-Africanism. Has uh, the EFF um, uh, key person uh, confirmed he will be attending? Yes, he has confirmed he'll be attending. He's very excited to come to Kenya. I know it is the height of a lot of global conversations, which he has been very vocal about. So I know a lot of uh, citizens, as well as the global citizens, are waiting to hear <laughs> what the EFF leader has to say. We are happy to have him because he's, he's a Pan-Africanist and he speaks to Africa and Africa issues and Africa challenges. And we want to bring him into our setting so that we can discuss these Africa issues from the setting of Ukambani, from the setting of Makueni County, from the setting of Kenya. Because uh, we believe it will, through him we will ignite the conversation to the height that it needs to be. That's why we needed a speaker like him. Mm. Yes. Why Malema? He's bold. He's bold. And these conversations need boldness. The, the work that uh, PLO Lumumba has been doing across Africa is that he's been, he's been speaking boldly towards Pan-Africanism, towards Africa rising. He worries about Africa. Bringing a speaker like Malema keeps the conversation at the same tone, which is a bold tone, telling Africans, let us rise up. And in this case, we are speaking here in Kenya. We are telling the Kenyan students and the Kenyan citizenry that as part of Africanism, as part of being Pan-Africanists, we also have to look inwards as we are looking outwards, reaching out to Africa. Any conversation, say for instance, that is political or about governance, as we call out the entire Africa to rise up and participate in these important conversations, we're also saying, let us look inwardly. What are we doing in our individual countries? Are we rising up? Are we calling out what needs to be called out? Are we reaching out to citizens who, who you know, can be good leaders so that we put them in office? Are we calling out our leaders as they are? Are they serving? our citizenry the way they should be serving our citizenry? Are our youth receiving the right quality of education? Because we know education is what takes us away from, from poverty. Uh, we, these are the conversations that we must have wholesomely as Africans and as Kenyans. So we need bold speakers who are not afraid to say it as it is, because there comes a time when we must say things the way they are so that we can begin to experience change for the future. What will be the focus of uh, his keynote speech? That I cannot tell you for now. <laughs> he has kept that close to his heart, so we are also looking forward to hearing from him. But it is a, a Pan-Africanist conversation. Mm. Yes. What uh, should people expect from uh, the visit? Well, the visit. In a nutshell, in a nutshell, we should. Um, of course, a lot of excitement is expected, and um, more importantly. We expect a bold statement that should wake us all up from our slumber as citizens of this continent, that we must engage on the right path. Otherwise, we will leave nothing to the youth. We will leave nothing to the young people. It's a wake-up call. This is what we should expect.